Okay, Capricorn. How y'all doing? This is Manny, okay? So, Capricorn, let's see what I'm popping where you're reading, okay? Remember, I could be, um, I'm reading for you, but I could be picking up on a cross watch or a third party or somebody surrounding your energy, okay? So, you could flip the rules as well. Let's see. I'm hearing it ends with us. So, I don't know what that means. It ends with us. Let's see. What's here for Capricorn? That came out of reverse. I know I screwed up things. And honestly, I have no idea how to fix it. So, yeah. Somebody doesn't know how to fix something they did here. They're regretting it. Let me see what else here. The grass wasn't green on the other side. So, somebody fucked up here. Jumped over to somebody else. And they found that it wasn't you. You feel me? Like, they fucked up. It doesn't mean it wasn't you. I feel like they just hit a wrong... Uh, yeah, they cheated. I can't sugarcoat it. They motherfucking cheated. Somebody cheated here. Somebody cheated here. And they went somewhere else. And now they're realizing they fucked up. But this could be you, Capricorn. Just take it how it hits you. But somebody here um, is regretting something. Let me see what else here. For Capricorn. You know What else here? Tantric sex. So this person could be practicing tantric sex or you're pa uh, practicing tantric stress. Oh, God. Stress? Are you serious? Maybe somebody's stressed out and they're doing this. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. I didn't mean to say it like that, but that's how it came out. Tantric sex. Like, maybe somebody's doing this with a friend or maybe they're doing it with somebody. You're doing it with somebody, a friend, your person, alone, whatever. It's just... Getting to know your body more, the way your body feels. If you don't know what it means, look it up. But somebody could do, could be doing that and they don't even realize it. Sometimes you do it and you don't even realize it. But I feel like somebody here is um, in that type of energy. Let me see. What else here? Running away. So yeah, somebody here feels like they want to run away or get away. Like, sexual protection is in the bottom of the deck. So, be careful. You're practicing tantric uh, stress. Who is stressed out here? Probably this person here that I'm picking up. Or oh, you're stressed out, Capricorn. You might be stressed out, Capricorn. You just want to get away from everybody. I already know the tea. So, you must know something here. Keeping a promise. Sexual protection. You might just run, want to get away from everybody, Capricorn, because you feel stressed out. Because I keep on saying uh, stress. So somebody here wants to get away. You feel me? Running away, getting away, just doing something, going on a vacation, doing something, or getting away, or not wanting to speak or talk to anyone, or keeping everything inside because you're so stressed out. But tantric, tantric sex, you know... If you're doing it with somebody, use protection. I know that sometimes when when that's done, you know, it's you don't use protection. It's about feeding your body. But I don't know for some reason that's coming out there. But let's see. Somebody, uh, I feel like somebody should have been more honest with you here um, about something they felt or something they didn't feel. Is what I'm picking up here. They need to be more honest than they weren't. Let me see. Capricorn. Mineira. What is here for Capricorn? Knight of Cups wanted to come out on the High Priest. So, yeah. Somebody's keeping quiet here. Not saying too much. They know something, but they're not saying too much. I feel like, uh, Capricorn, there is something coming your way. Or you might be headed somewhere. Hold on. Let me see what else here for Capricorn. But somebody here is keeping quiet. They're not saying too much. They know things, but they don't say nothing yet. Somebody here is fucked up. Somebody here got backstabbed really bad. Grass wasn't green on the other side. The lover's card here. They chose something probably abundance. They probably chose somebody that had money or somebody that would help them. Whatever it is here, there is a soul connection here. 
It could have been a soulmate. It could have been a person you were with. But I feel like with the high priestess here, it's like you know things before it happens. Or you just know something and you're keeping quiet. You're staying quiet. The, the high priest don't speak too much. You might be very um, intuitive. And you, you see things that are coming before they come. And you just stay quiet. You don't say nothing. But I feel like you're ready to move on outwards. Of a situation here that has brought you a lot of pain here. Capricorn. Let me see what else here for Capricorn. You're feeling overwhelmed with somebody here. They backstab you really back. And it's like, I feel like you're moving away from that. And ent entering something new here. Whatever it is for you. My God, that's all the cards. Okay, the Six of Cups. The Star card and the Page of Cups. So, you know, the past is coming out here. It might be entering the past. And when I say the past, it doesn't mean you're entering a relationship or getting with somebody from the past. You might just be thinking about the past, might um, entering the past and trying to think about things that happened in the past. So this is the past that's taught you a lot of lessons here. There's a very immature person here that doesn't want you to succeed or get your blessings here. It's like they want you to fail. After they fucked you over, they stabbed you up, whatever it is, is like they want you to fail and they don't want you to move forward. Who the fuck does that? Listen, if I don't want to be with you because I fucked... If you don't want to be with me because I fucked you over, why would I want you to fail? Keep on going. But that's what I'm seeing here. Let me see. You might be reminiscing, you know, when you were a child or there's things that happened to you when you were a child here with family members here where you can't trust or you have like a, um, a very strong, like, I'm not going to say revenge. I'm going to say... Um, I feel like you love somebody here in your family, but you hold a grudge here on somebody here in your family. Maybe they weren't they weren't present. Maybe they weren't there in your life, but I feel like they were for some of you. And I feel like you just hold a big grudge against this person is what I'm picking up here. Somebody lost a sister here. I can't channel that right now. Somebody lost a sister here or somebody you call sister and I feel like they're watching you from the realm and they're trying to protect you here. So light up a candle and um, put a white um, glass of water and whatever it is, I'm picking up a sister here. It could be a brother as well, but I'm picking up a person with a lot of male energy. So it's, I don't know if it's a sister, a blood sister, somebody you call sister, family, whatever it is, they're watching over you. Oh my God, are you serious? This person that passed away was intentionally taken, okay? So, I don't want to say what I'm, the word, but they were intentionally taken. It was not an accident. Or that is. Oh, give me something else for Capricorn. I don't want to channel that, but they were taken. Somebody did something purpose for them to um, not be here. What the fuck? They've been doing jobs and um, they've been doing brujeria. They've been doing witchcraft and something to not get caught here. They've been covering their tracks. They are going to get caught and they are going to go to jail. If they're, already, if they're in jail already, something's going to happen to them inside that jail. Or already did. But they're going through it. But if they haven't been caught yet, which is what I'm picking up here, they haven't been caught yet, they're going to get caught. Okay, let's continue. I don't want to channel that. Oh, my God. What's here for Capricorn? What else? Yeah, new phase of your life. You got to pick here. There's something you got to pick here. You got the Queen of Wands. You got the Six of Pentacles. And you got the Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, you, gotta, you have a choice to make here between two people here. Well, this could be the same person. Very alluring, sexy, you know. Um, I don't know. Something that's very magnetic. Something that's very alluring. Um, 
very sexy, sexy, handsome, a person that makes somebody tingle when they walk around, but also a person that's stable, a person that brings that bread to the table, that knows how to build, that knows how to have a house together, that knows how to go to work and come back home and have a normal life. You feel me? I feel like Capricorn, you're in that energy right now. This might be two different people, but it could be, be the same person, but I feel like it's two different people looking at each other in the middle of a competition here. So there's two people here. I'm going to leave it here and confirm those two people there. Let me see what else here for Capricorn. They just looking at each other like, what? What, bitch? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. Like, they just looking at each other like, what's up? <laughs> I'm better than you now. I'm better than you. You might have two people here that are going to meet up or they're going to have a problem over somebody here. Somebody cheating here, there's going to be a problem here. It could be a, a girl on girl. It don't have to be. It could be man on man. It could be man on woman. But somebody's having a problem here severely with somebody. You're into your confidence right now. Into your into stability as well. Let me see what else here. For Capricorn. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're into your stability, into your money. And you're walking away from something here that no longer serves you. You're making that choice. You're making that choice to walk away because something here is not giving here. It's not giving your stability. You might be, you know, with a person for many years and you love a person or you care for a person. But if you keep getting backstabbed in the back, if you keep on letting this person do whatever the fuck they want. And you, I feel like you're silent and you, you walked away in silence. You're going to walk away in silence. You have a choice to make here and it's going to be your stability, your abundance. Okay, it might come, it might just move slow because that's how it moves, but you're getting there. So, you might have chosen something here for your own good and not for somebody else's here because I feel like somebody here didn't care about your needs, they only cared about their needs. They walked away when you needed them the most. The Eight of Cups, they walked away when you were going through something here, or every time you're going through something, they walk away, they don't care, it's about themselves. This person is very selfish. In the bottom of the deck, you got the Eight of Cups. So there's a lot of um, new opportunities coming in for you. Maybe even a, another person or people. Whatever it is, positive people. But there is something here going on with the Knight of Cups here. I feel like this person wants to come back and apologize, but their apology don't mean shit. It's fake. They are having um, some type of sex with somebody else here. Let me see the Nether Cups here. Yeah. This person has a very dark shadow side. Of You know, everybody has their shadow side. But this person has a very dark shadow side. I feel like um, you thought this person was different when they were not. I feel like you saw who this person was. And I feel like you or this person wanted to come back to you. And it's like, no. I know who the fuck you are. You feel me? It's the energy that I'm picking up here. But, you know, I feel like for some reason there's like an energy that pulls you to some sort of person here or people, whatever it is that, you know, is like, you know who they are and you don't trust them. But then again, it's like it allures somebody here. It doesn't have to be Capricorn, it could be somebody else. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Somebody here has been, you know, and trauma since they were a child here. Why is the high priestess here? Mm -mm. The eight of pentacles in reverse. Somebody doesn't want to work on something here. They don't even want to work. They don't work or they lost their job. Or somebody's going to lose their job here. So be careful you're working. And there's a lot of eyes on you or whatever's going on in a job here. I'll confirm it. Let me leave it there. Why is the high priestess here? Maybe you're just staying quiet because you know something's happening at work here. But you're also staying quiet because something's not working here. And you're walking away in silence or you already did. Whatever this person was doing to make you... I feel like this person was trying to do something to harm you in some type of other way. And something stopped it here. It could have been your own intuition that, you know... I don't know. It's like um, you felt something. But there's a guide here. Or a past love one here that's trying to help you. It might be this past love one I picked up on. 
This person, the Holy Seam. Let me see. The Ten of Swords. They're going through hell right now. Yeah, they fucked up. Look, it's it's reversed. So, whoever this is was somebody you were dealing with here. A soulmate. Or you thought they were a soulmate. Or somebody romantically involved with here. It's over. They don't want to work on this. Or you don't want to work on this, Capricorn. Somebody doesn't want to work on this. It's like it's over. It's not going to work no matter how how they come or how no matter how they put it it's not going to work here let me see why is the six of cups here for capricorn it's like they're it's like they play victim i think this person has been um a person that's been through a lot and they, they're used to like people treating them bad and i feel like they don't know what good is when they see it or they don't know being treated good they don't know what that feels like and i feel like that bothers them and they walk away but at the end of the day they're a whole conniving ass energy it's like they're a hypocrite it's like they're a person that plays victim to the victim it's like gaslighting the six of cups here why is six of cups here for capricorn minera this one wanted to come out too yeah a passion will begin here with somebody from the past there is six oh my god i can't the moon card here so somebody secretly wants to go back here somebody's coming back from the past for you capricorn or somebody secretly is involved here for somebody with the past it could be an ex it could be uh, uh somebody that they used to fuck around with but you got the ace of wands here man passion no beginning a lot of lust here you know a thing thing going on here a lot of secrets here you know, maybe at night, who knows? But it's somebody from the past here. Somebody's reconciling for somebody from the past. You might have been dealing with a person that might have been dealing with somebody from the past. Or they went back with somebody from the past. Or this is you, Capricorn. Just pick what side you're on. Let me see the two of wands here. Yeah, this person. Uh-uh. Yeah, you're manifesting things here. But you got two choices to make here. Either you go one way or the other. You can't stay stuck in the middle. Is what spirit is saying. You can't stay stuck in the middle. You got to one way or the other. And I feel like you already stepped off this. I feel like you walked away from this already. Don't walk away from something new that's coming in. Whether it's a job, business, whatever it is. Don't walk away from it because it's coming. You're going to say no for a reason. I, I want you to think that twice. Okay? If something comes in a new job, an opportunity, and you don't like it, or that's not what you do, think about it twice. Because it's going to be something that's going to favor you, and it's going to give you abundance or more money. You feel me? It, it could even be a second job. Think about it. Don't just say no. Okay? I'm getting that. The magician here with the two of wands for Capricorn. Yeah, somebody here is like, yo... You're letting loose here. So, like, I don't know. I feel like you're manifesting something here. I feel like somebody here, um, at some moment in time, promised many things. But, no. It's like they broke promises. You're letting something go here, Capricorn. And it's been a decision that it's, it's like overthinking here. But I feel like you're ready to walk away here. You, you haven't walked away. There's too many things going on here in your mind. It's like you're overthinking, overthinking, overthinking of what you need to do next. Follow your intuition. The Eight of Cups here for Capricorn. Whoa. The Five of Swords. Yeah, too much fighting, too much arguing. Not seeing eye to eye. Like, you know, like I said, there's too much fighting going on here. This person likes to fight. Even though they don't seem like it because I don't pick up the energy. I feel like a calm energy. They like to fight. There's too many problems going on here. You got the high priest and you got the king of wands here. Very controlling. And you got the eight of cups again. Walking away. And doing yourself. Money's coming in. Okay, Capricorn? Don't worry about your money. Money's coming in. It's about getting up, putting that energy, getting yourself to work. And putting the intentions every day for that money to come in. You just don't sit there and it's, it lands in your pocket. You know, unless you're playing a lottery ticket or scratch house. Yeah, that's some good chump change if you get something. But I feel like money's coming in. 
I feel like you're standing stable, but I feel like there's somebody controlling your energy that tells you what to do or wants to tell you what to do. It's like they want to tell you what to do, who to be with, who to walk away from, who to go to. It's like you can't be in that type of energy. You got to figure out things for your own. And I'm not saying you don't, Capricorn, because I know Capricorns, they do whatever the fuck they want. Trust me, I've been with Capricorns all my life relationships i got daughters that are capricorns i got friends that are capricorns my best friends are capricorns and almost all my relationships have been capricorns but you got somebody that wants to control the way you move what you do if you walk away if you're with that person if you're with that one it could be a parent it could be a sister a brother a cousin it could be somebody in your energy it could be a father it could be somebody but it's like they're very controlling at the end of the day they don't really give a fuck but you're walking away from somebody here that's very toxic it's all they want to do is fight they don't want to fix nothing or you don't want to fix something with this person because you want to move into stability and this person's looking back at you like uh-uh that's mine i don't know why this person is uh, what the fuck five of swords here with the eight of cups for capricorn very interesting person here yeah you're stuck this person don't oh my god my god capricorn who the fuck this might be another earth sign virgo taurus or capricorn you got more earth here. You got more earth here. You might have um, a lot of earth in your chart. Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn. Or you're dealing with a strong earth sign here. You got Aries. You got um, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio again. You got Aries again. You got Gemini. You got Pisces again. You got a lot of water here too. You're not letting your walls down here, Capricorn. You're keeping your walls up. You're tired of the bullshit. You're tired of the fighting. You're tired of all the drama. It's like you're letting things go here, manifesting new things for yourself. And it has to do with abundance. It has to do with money. It has to be doing yourself. Doing yourself. You're manifesting doing yourself is what you're doing here, Capricorn. It's about you now. You're into your confidence here, manifesting yourself. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to clarify these cards. There's two people here that are involved here. You're not letting your walls down. And somebody's stuck here now in an energy where they can't get out of. They moved on to somewhere else where they're getting fucked over all over the place. They're getting backstabbed. They're having arguments. They're having problems. Somebody's not looking at them the way that they thought they were going to look at them. So they're dealing with somebody here that's holding back. They're not giving them money. They're not supporting them. They're not being stable. It's like almost like an energy of like, you're trash to me. Whoever this person is that did all this shit to you, that moved on to somebody else, there there was somebody that thinks that they're trash. They're using this person. Well, that's what you get. You don't fuck people over and then move on and think everything's going to be happy-go-lucky. I don't run that way. Let me see the Ace of uh, Pentacles here for um, Capricorn. Or when you leave this person, that's what's going to happen to them. Because they, they used you here for something here. They were never real. They were hiding secrets the whole time and doing things behind your back the whole time. And somebody in your family or your friends knew. Somebody covered up for this person because they have some type of grudge or you have a grudge towards a family member here. I feel like there's a strong family member here that nobody wants to hear is what I just heard. They don't want to hear it. Okay, well, they're going to hear it. There is a family member here that you think is a person that you can trust. You can't trust this person. They say everything to your partner or they do to every partner you're with or they did to somebody you were with here. Secrets and lies and a bunch of shit. Somebody in your family here or a friend. The high priest is here. So you're following your intuition. You're doing what you got to do. Building abundance. You know, you got options. You got, you know, you got negotiations coming in here. Be careful with juggling people here. Somebody here ugh, works with old patterns. They're going to want to come back to apologize. Let me see. The high priestess here with the ace of pentacles looking so pretty there. Let me see. For Capricorn. The ace of... I can't. I love this. The ace of cups. So, your intuition. You're following your intuition. You know, abundance, stability, your home, your kids, your house. You know, a new car. Trying to invest in, in you know, negotiations. Whatever it is for you. Even a house. You know, you've done a lot of crying to get here. You're following your intuition. You might just land in a, in a place where you're going to find love. But you've done a lot of crying doing this. You need to let your walls down a little bit here. Let me see. Who is this queen of pentacles here? Whoa. 
Yeah, somebody that doesn't stop fighting here with you and themselves. It's like they don't stop fighting themselves or you. Let me see. Why is this Queen of Wands here? That was quick. Mm -mm. Somebody from your past. You're going to reconcile with somebody from your past here. Somebody wants to offer you something here, and this is reconciling from the past. So this Queen of Wands could be from the past, and this Queen of Pentacles could be from the past, male or female too. Could be the same person. Or it could be two different energies of two different Capricorns that are picking up, or three or four. But something is going to give here from the past. You got the King of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck, the perfect couple. Queen and King of Pentacles. So you might just be, you know, headed to a direction where you're doing yourself, you know, you're feeding yourself right now. You're following your intuition. You might just end up, you know, with somebody here offering you something, but the past is coming in here. So you might just be reconciling for somebody from the past and landed on top of this. Um, and somebody here most definitely is fighting themselves. Like somebody fighting all the time or fighting themselves, but it's like they fight. You off in a way of like with lying is what I'm picking up here. Yeah, it's weird. Let's see. Give me something else here for um, Capricorn. What else is here for Capricorn? Yeah, th this person's all fucked up. They're lost right now with no money. They got nowhere to go. I feel like they do, but they ain't got nowhere to go. They ain't got no job. They're just fucking around. You know, they're involved with people they're not supposed to be involved with. Like, they're, they're a whole mess. So, if this is somebody you were dealing with, let them go. Like, let them do what they got to do. Because at the end of the day, they're dealing with somebody from the past. But some again, the past is coming into you or you're going into your past. You might not even know this. And this, might, this is not a crazy situation where somebody beat your ass or you, you know, that type of energy. But somebody here, you know, I feel like you need to feel yourself more. I feel like this person didn't make you feel some certain way about yourself, but you made them feel that way. You feel me? It could be anything. It doesn't have to be about sex. But I feel like for some of you, yeah, something happened like that. Let me see. What is here for Capricorn? Yeah, they're in a whole energy right now, stuck fighting with somebody. They're walking, people are walking away from them. It's like they're not to be trusted anywhere. It's like people don't trust this person. They don't trust this person at all. This person steals. They make money stealing, or they did. They're going to end up in jail. Mm -mm. I want to confirm that. They're going to end up in jail. Or somebody's going to end up in jail here. Rocky, it has been rough road for you. It has been a rough road for you. You must decide whether it's worth it to keep on going. There's your answer right there. Can't make shit up. Leaving. You've taken as far as you can. Go this time around. Walking away is the best thing you could do. I can't make shit up. Spirit is never wrong. Let me see something here. Give me something here. Oh, I went to the floor. Exactly. Let me see. Lying was just easier for me than telling the truth. I went to the floor. So, yeah, I picked up a pathological liar. Can't seem to find right words to say to you. So somebody is stuck with their words. They're stuck with everything. They're just a pathological liar like I picked up. They're stuck here. And they lie to everybody. It's just a person that's, that's probably the way they were raised. That's the way they work. But they'll never change. Okay? So just, you know, follow your intuition. You are heading into something new. And stability is the most big part of your journey. Okay? Your stability and your abundance. Remember, you're a Capricorn. You're all about the money. Okay? Some Capricorns are not. But most Capricorns are. So I wish you the best of luck. Okay? I love y'all. And I'll see you later.